Ever wondered what happens when the waves of bullying and harassment crash on the decks of a ship? Life on board a ship is an adventure like no other, filled with the promise of new horizons and the thrill of the open sea. But behind the allure of seafaring, there lies a silent menace that often goes unnoticed. The invisible storm of shipboard harassment and bullying. This isn't just a passing squall, it's a deeply rooted issue that leaves no ship unscathed. Being a seafarer is no walk in the park. The unique challenges of shipboard life create a tight-knit community, but this very closeness can sometimes foster an environment where harassment and bullying thrive. Imagine, if you will, the isolation of the open sea, where escape from conflict isn't as simple as stepping out of an office door. This is the reality for many seafarers, where the lines of personal space blur and the pressure cooker of onboard life can lead to harmful behaviors. What happens when seafarers become victims of harassment and bullying? Imagine a seafarer, let's call him Jack, who is constantly belittled and mocked by his shipmates. Jack is a skilled seafarer, but the constant harassment chips away at his self-esteem. The laughter and whispers echo in his mind even when he's alone. He starts to doubt his abilities, loses focus and makes mistakes. His work suffers, and so does his mental health. In another scenario, consider Lisa, a ship's officer who is relentlessly bullied. The stress of dealing with the hostile environment day in and day out takes a toll on her physical health. She develops insomnia, her appetite dwindles, and she falls ill more often. The ship's efficiency suffers as Lisa is frequently unable to perform her duties to the best of her ability. These are not mere stories, but real-life instances that highlight the mental, emotional, and physical consequences of shipboard bullying and harassment. The constant fear and anxiety can lead to depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and even suicidal tendencies. But the impact doesn't stop at the individual level. The morale and productivity of the entire crew suffer. A hostile environment breeds resentment and mistrust. Teamwork falters, and accidents become more likely as communication breaks down. Moreover, the ship's reputation takes a hit. High turnover rates are a red flag to potential recruits. Who would want to join a ship where respect and dignity are not valued? The ship then struggles to attract and retain skilled seafarers, which further affects its efficiency and profitability. In the worst scenarios, unchecked bullying and harassment can lead to tragic incidents. A demotivated and depressed seafarer might not react promptly in a crisis, endangering the entire ship and its crew. The ripples of this menace reach far beyond the individual, affecting the entire ship. The unseen consequences of shipboard harassment and bullying are a silent storm, brewing beneath the surface, threatening to capsize the ship's harmony and productivity. But how can we recognize the signs of shipboard bullying and harassment? It's a crucial question that needs to be addressed. Let's start by understanding that symptoms of bullying and harassment can manifest differently in each individual. However, there are common signs that we can look out for. One of the most noticeable signs is withdrawal. Victims may distance themselves from their crewmates, avoiding social interactions. They become more isolated, seeking solitude rather than the camaraderie that's so vital at sea. This isolation isn't just physical. It can also be emotional, as they may seem detached or unengaged. Another symptom is a decrease in performance. An otherwise competent seafarer might start making uncharacteristic mistakes, missing deadlines, or showing a lack of enthusiasm for tasks they once enjoyed. Their work ethic may falter, and their overall productivity can decline. This is a telltale sign that something is amiss. Health issues can also arise as a result of harassment and bullying. Stress can take a significant toll on the body, leading to problems like insomnia, loss of appetite, headaches, or even more serious complications like heart disease. These physical symptoms are often overlooked as just part of life at sea, but they can be indicative of a deeper issue. In a shipboard environment, identifying these symptoms can be more challenging. The close quarters and the nature of the work can mask these signs. It's easy to dismiss these symptoms as just a rough day or a bout of seasickness, but we must remember that these signs are not just passing clouds in an otherwise clear sky. They are storm warnings, signaling that something is not right. Recognizing these signs requires a keen eye and an open heart. It demands that we extend our compassion, our understanding, and our willingness to help. 
It's about creating a safe haven in the vast expanse of the sea, where respect and dignity reign over fear and intimidation. Awareness is the first step towards change. Recognizing these signs can be a beacon of hope for those lost in the storm. Recognizing the symptoms is the beginning of the journey to eradicate shipboard bullying and harassment. It's the first step towards calmer seas and brighter horizons. So, how can we navigate through these rough seas and steer the ship towards a safer, more respectful environment? Well, let's dive right in. The first, and arguably the most vital strategy, is to promote open communication. It's crucial to foster an atmosphere where everyone feels comfortable addressing concerns and sharing experiences. By encouraging dialogue, we not only raise awareness about the issue, but we also empower individuals to stand up against harassment and bullying. Next, we need to implement strict anti-harassment policies. This isn't just about having a written document tucked away somewhere. It's about clearly defining what constitutes harassment and bullying, setting out the consequences for such actions, and ensuring that everyone on board understands these rules. It's about making a commitment to a respectful and inclusive environment, and sticking to it. But what happens when someone falls victim to harassment or bullying? That's where the third strategy comes in, providing support for victims. This means having resources in place like counseling services and an anonymous reporting system. It's about letting victims know they're not alone and that there will be repercussions for those who breach the code of respect. We must also foster a culture of respect and empathy. This can be nurtured through team building activities and diversity training. When crew members understand and appreciate each other's differences, they're less likely to resort to bullying or harassment. Lastly, there's a need for continuous monitoring and evaluation. We can't just set these strategies in motion and hope for the best. We need to constantly assess the situation, gather feedback, and adjust our approach as necessary. With the right tools and strategies, we can transform the ship into a sanctuary, free from the waves of bullying and harassment. This isn't just a lofty goal. It's a necessary pursuit, because everyone deserves to work in an environment where they feel safe respected and valued. And with these strategies, we're steering the ship in the right direction. But what can we as individuals do to combat this issue? The answer is simpler than you might think. It's about taking a proactive approach, about stepping up and stepping in when we see something that's not right. It's about refusing to be silent and choosing to be a part of the solution instead. It starts with empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. We need to remember that every crew member on board has a story, a family, and dreams of their own. They are not just another face in the crowd. They are human beings deserving of respect and dignity. So when you see someone being treated poorly, think about how you would feel if you were in their shoes. Let that guide your actions. Support is another crucial element in combating shipboard harassment and bullying. If someone is brave enough to share their experiences, be there for them listen to their story, offer words of encouragement, and assure them that they are not alone. It's often the smallest gestures that can make the biggest impact. And let's not forget about understanding. This isn't about excusing bad behavior, but rather about trying to understand why it happens. Is it due to stress, lack of proper training, a toxic work culture? By understanding the root causes, we can address them more effectively and prevent such incidents from happening in the future. Creating a positive shipboard culture is not a one-man job. It requires everyone's effort, from the captain to the newest recruit. It requires a shift in mindset, from one of indifference to one of active engagement. And it requires a commitment to making a difference, no matter how small it may seem. Remember, every wave starts with a single ripple. Each one of us can be that ripple, creating a wave of change that can transform the culture aboard our ships. We can turn the tide against shipboard harassment and bullying, not just for ourselves, but for the generations of seafarers to come. Together, we can create a wave of change, turning the tide against shipboard harassment and bullying and sailing towards a brighter horizon.